Hey everybody, this is my 55 gallon Garami tank and I just wanted to do a little bit of an update. We're just going to kind of talk about this tank for a little bit. The algae in this tank is just overwhelming. You can see how thick it's growing on the glass from a distance, but once we actually get up close to the tank a little more, you can see how there really is just green algae growing all over everything. It's not just the front glass, even the java moss has algae over the surface of the moss just everywhere it's just covering this tank now and the reason of course is because I put that uh, really extreme amount of light on there I put four LED floodlights on there I put a big hood over the top of it and then I hung uh, floodlights in there I'm not going to open the top up at the moment it's just kind of a pain in the butt I got it latched closed so we're going to leave it that way for the moment uh, you can check out my Garami tank if you're not already familiar with what I've done here, if you're a new viewer. But I've got a lot of lighting on this tank. I just did that fairly recently, and the end result is we are now getting a lot of algae. And again, I kind of expected it, but I don't really want to have to deal with it like this. Uh, as far as that front glass goes, again, you can see how heavily the glass is algaed up. I mean, that's a significant amount of algae there. If I was going to try to actually shoot a video of the, the fish in this tank rather than the tank itself, uh, I would definitely need to get in there and really clean that glass down. And yet, here it is Tuesday afternoon, and I thoroughly scrubbed that tank down Friday night before my live stream. I do a live stream every Friday and Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And about 7 o'clock last Friday, I completely scrubbed that glass down and it looks like that already on Tuesday. So definitely have to do something about the algae in this tank. And I've got an idea, in fact I was given an idea by one of my viewers and I'm going to take that idea and run with it. So we're not going to talk about that just yet. That will be a video in its own right. But I do have one step I can take that I think will reduce the algae in this tank quite a bit. Uh, again, we'll talk about that in an upcoming video. Make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss that. In the meantime, I'm considering putting an air stone in this tank. My longtime viewers will know I've had a journey uh, with my the way I feel about air stones. I don't like them. I still don't like them, but I'm not so vehemently against them as I used to be. I used to just loathe the sight of having bubbles in a tank, and while I'm still not crazy about it, I have come to appreciate over the years just how much benefit you get by putting an air stone in your tank. It really does just help everything out. Um, I say this quite often, if you're looking for the easiest, simplest thing you can do that will make the biggest impact on keeping your aquarium healthy uh, and nice and, and thriving, it's put an air stone in it. So, I know that won't really affect the algal growth, or at least I don't believe it will affect the algal growth. That's more of a lighting and a nutrient thing. Again, we'll address that in an upcoming video. But I do also struggle with cyanobacteria in this tank, and that is definitely affected by the amount of um, oxygenation you've got in the water, circulation, that sort of thing. Uh, this tank, you can see I've got a pretty good amount of growth on the surface there, but it's still nothing like it used to be. And this is another tank that I just cleaned uh, several days ago. And you can see I am getting some new development of it. You can see how dark green all that stuff is right there. And all of this sort of matted dark green stuff floating at the surface. That's all cyanobacteria. So it's not out of this tank by any means. That's all just cyanobacteria, as nasty as that is. Blech. So again, it's not out of this tank by any means. But it is getting reduced, and I think by having the water flow and the oxygen with the air stones in there, uh, I think we're doing a lot better. So probably just going to put an air stone in this tank just for the sake of making it uh, function a little better. So anyway, that's an update on what's going on with the Garami tank. The new lighting is just cranked up. It's making the algae go crazy in there, and I am thinking about putting an air stone in there. And again, a real quick look. At this tank, I don't know if we really got to have a good look at the fishes in here, but I just got these new uh, blue diamond discus were actually given to me as a gift, and I am still just absolutely in love with these fish. They're so beautiful. And so 
again I got the really high lighting on this tank but there's just always a price to pay for the high lighting and I do not doubt that we're going to start seeing the same kind of growth with the algae uh, that cyanobacteria you know as much as the air stones may be helping to reduce it the lighting I've got on this tank is probably helping to generate it again I was just in here the other night looking at it and it did not have nearly that much cyanobacteria on it um, so again that, that just highlighting and, and you can see a better idea looking in here there's six of those LED floodlights shining down in here so again I'm going to do the same thing to this tank that we're going to do to the grommy tank uh, make sure you subscribe that way you won't miss that as I keep saying and there you go there's just a look at my 125, my rainbow fish, my discus, garamis, and I don't know if we got to see my tenopoma in there. There he is, he's hiding in the back. And of course I've got that great big angel fish in this tank too. I don't know if that one's made an appearance or not. So alright everybody, as I said, make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss anything I got coming up you never know what it's going to be with me and then don't forget of course I do the live streams every Friday and Sunday night at 8 o'clock for the general public and I do uh, members only live stream every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock for my members so if you want to sign up for basic membership you will get access to that as well so thanks for watching everybody and I will see you real soon in the next one